Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming on our way to Chap Nirvana. Well, it's summertime here in the UK, or just about anyway, and the weather's taken a turn for the warm, which is nice, uh, or as warm as we get it anyway in this country, which is modest for the rest of the world. And as a result, you know, you tend to reach for clothing, footwear, which is more appropriate for the warmer time of year. Now, for the intentionally well-dressed man, it can be a challenge because many of the items which we think about in smart clothing tends to be very much paired with the more formal clothing, which are, you know, colder weather variants. But in the summertime, um, I tend to reach for just a few pairs of shoes and boots which work for me. Now I think it would be impossible just to get through the year with just one pair of shoes or one pair of boots. So I've pared it down to as minimum as possible to the shoes that I reach for in the summertime and undoubtedly I'll be doing the same this year. These are the shoes which I'll be wearing as we go through the summertime. Now, even though the summertime is generally a time of year where we seek to reduce formality because nobody wants to wear a collar and tie on a stifling hot day, it's just not practical. And the same goes, you know, for the intentionally well-dressed man. We don't want to be uncomfortable while looking our best, but there are still going to be occasions where you need to step up the formality to look that little bit better. Let's say we're going to a barbecue at a business associate's house. It's not quite full casual. You want to look your best. What do you wear? Because, you know, let's remember, your outfit begins with the shoe. It's from the ground up that we tend to dress. And for me, in the summertime, I tend to go for the brown semi-brogue. Um, in this case, it's an Oxford-style lacing, but it could just as easily be a Derby-style lacing. And why do I go for the semi-brogue? Well, it's an incredibly versatile shoe. Of course, it could be pressed into a formal situation. You know, if you were wearing uh, a light-coloured linen suit, perhaps the semi, um, the semi brogue brown shoe would be the perfect accompaniment for that look. But still, you could wear this shoe if you're wearing dark denim, for instance, or pretty much any colour of chino trouser, from you know your light khaki colour right up to your, your dark greens uh, and your navy coloured chinos. So this shoe, perfect connection. Why the brown? Well, for me, I think a light brown, perhaps a walnut brown, is a very good way to go because it gives you that versatility and that brown is a colour perhaps better associated to the warmer months. Black is very stark, very bold, and it's something which is very formal. It doesn't really lend itself well to that reduced formality in the summer months. For me, you may be different. If you can only afford one shoe, perhaps a black semi-brogue might be the way to go. But in this case, I'm choosing three shoes, and for me, the brown semi-brogue is gonna be the perfect shoe that'll carry me through those formal to semi-formal, maybe even slightly more casual situations. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here, even though I said there's a minimum of three, I'm going to make one honourable mention. And for me, that is a shoe which I often wear in the summer months, and it's the suede shoe. It could be any style. In particular, I'm displaying here a, a brogue. This is a full suede brogue, and as you can see, it's an Oxford brogue, um, and it's a very versatile shoe. I think suede, again, lends itself very well for the summertime. Uh, it goes well with, you know, if you were wearing a light linen suit, a brown suede shoe has got you covered. Great with the chinos, great with the, the denim, even more so, because suede is that classic gentleman's shoe which can, you know, be carried off with anything. And it also allows you to add a little bit of personality. Perhaps changing the laces on the brown semi-brogue in leather might be just that little bit too, you know, playing with formality a bit. On the suede shoe, as you can see, I've, I've put a pair of uh, oatmeal coloured laces into this brown brogue, uh, suede brogue, and it just brings its formality level down. And worn with a pair of chinos, just looks great, I have to say. I wear these all the time. And as for the semi-brogue, 
with a leather sole because the leather sole just allows your foot to breathe a bit more uh, and allow you know it's just in keeping with the summer months of where we are and trying to combat that heat so perfect time of the year for the leather sole shoes so honorable mention a suede brogue in this case Okay, so we've got the formal side of summer living put to one side. Now we need a day-to-day -day practical utility shoe or boot. There's a clue there. And my choice in this category is a boot which you'll have seen on my channel quite a few times. It's my go-to boot. I would be wearing this right now if I were not displaying it to you in this video. And it's the Desert Boot. Uh, the Desert Boot is a classic chucker boot and it is perfect for the summer months. Um, you know, if we delve back into history, the Desert Boot was, it came into being in, in wider consciousness because during the Second World War, soldiers sought something which was more practical and utility based than the standard issue army boot. Hence, the Clark's company in the UK um, came about the, the original Desert Boot, still in production today, all those years later, and still, I'm told, uh, I'm led to understand, the most popular chucker boot in the world, um, made in their millions each year. Now, what makes it so special? Why do I like it? Well, the chucker boot, it's made in all different materials these days, but the classic chucker boot is made of unlined suede, as this particular example is. They can come in many different colors, but I like, you know, your standard light brown or brown suede. Um, it's a very simple shoe or boot. It's just made of two different pieces of suede uh, on the upper, just two eyelets, easy to slip on and off. It's unlined, so raw suede, you know, great for keeping you cool and well ventilated. It's on top of a coagulated latex sole, known as uh, crepe, but again, practical, grippy, very useful. You can be on your feet all day long. You know, you can, you can be on your holiday, walking around, seeing the sights, and this sole really does combat foot fatigue when you're putting the miles on. So a really practical boot in every sense, battle tested in the Second World War, but incredibly useful today because of that suede and the color options, it seems to transcend the boundaries of formality. Um, I often, most always, wear my um, desert boot with chinos and any type of chino color. You know, these go equally as well with um, a red colored chino to a khaki colored chino. They've just, they work with everything. But remarkably for a boot, and they're just about the only boot in the world, I would say this, they could be worn with shorts. You know, originally in their first application in the military, they were worn with shorts. And you could, because of the low um, sitting nature of these boots, you could wear them with shorts if you had to. If you were, you know, deliberately traveling exceptionally light, you could pack this uh, and you'd be all right for that. So incredibly versatile, incredibly utilitarian, the perfect do-it-all boot for the summer months. Now my third and final choice for the essential shoes, which I always find myself reaching for in the summertime, could be controversial. I know there'll be some sartorial purists out there who would absolutely never wear these, but for me, there is a place for the white training shoe in my summer rotation. Uh, call it a sneaker, depends where you live in the world. Why do I like these? Well, practicality. Let's be honest, we're contemporary men, all right? It's all about function. Nobody wants to be uncomfortable just to look good. We want both and the white training shoe allows you to do that. It's the classic look of the well put together man in the summer months. The white training shoe, well for a start, being white, it is the most neutral of all colours. It can be worn with anything. It can be worn with any of your multicoloured chino trousers. You can wear it with your shorts. You can wear it with your denim jeans. Whatever you choose to wear, the white training shoe will be able to marry with it and still look good. Um, as well as that, functionally, of course, it's very comfortable. It's a training shoe, it's an athletic shoe. Uh, and so you can walk all day, you go on holidays, you wanna get out there, you wanna get the most from every nice day that you can, depending on where you live in the world. I mean, we don't get many here, so I wanna get outdoors and walk and enjoy this summer sun. And I wanna feel comfortable. If I wanna walk five miles, go for a walk in the country, a white training shoe makes me look good and it's practical for my feet. Now, worn with a no-show sock, it's the classic look that you can wear with any type of shorts. So, you know, really 
stylistic. Made of leather as well, so they will last year in, year out. Little tip, always get a wooden shoe tree and put it into your leather training shoe because it'll extend its life no end and allow that uh, fluid buildup where you've sweated into the shoe throughout the day to just disperse pleasantly. Um, so easy to look after as well. Modestly priced, you don't have to pay a lot of money. Uh, in this case, this is an Adidas Continental. So, you know, I've had these, this shoe for a year or two now and it's lasted rather well and easy to keep clean, keep looking white, just wipe them down, they look great. Well worth having in your wardrobe for those summer months. Well, traps, there we go. Those were my essential three shoes that I find myself reaching for in the summer months, with that honourable mention of the suede shoe as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel too. That way you won't miss any of our future material. And do not take the opportunity to leave a comment or a question for me in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. So until the next time we meet, please take care of yourselves, look sharp, and I'll see you very soon.